How you handle providing your references can make or break your job search. Whether you have amazing references isn't as critical as how you set these references up for success and also how you deal with that request from an employer if you don't happen to have references available. My name is Brent, I own the Vancouver Express Employment Professionals Office and we see ourselves as HR doctors. We're here to help you through your job search and in our previous videos we discuss what we feel are the 10 key steps that you need to consider in your job search. We further discuss goal setting and how your pre-search and research, creating your resume, sending out applications and preparing for the interview will help you through the process. In this video, we'll cover the different types of references you can provide, how these references are viewed, how to set both you and your references up for success, and what to do when you can't provide an employment reference. In my opinion, there are a few types of references that you can provide, employment, academic, personal and character. Now, employment references are typically the most desirable to a prospective employer. As we've shared in our previous goal setting, resume and application process, understanding your value is critical to helping a potential employer understand how you're going to contribute to a position and to the company. Providing an employment reference to help corroborate your accomplishments and deliverables in your previous role can help eliminate any doubt and create a better sense of comfort for the interviewer. This can also aid in negotiating a higher salary if you get to that stage. Now, a few points to consider with employment references. We'd consider a direct manager or supervisor as an employment reference, whereas a coworker or peer from another division will likely be considered more as a character reference. When providing an employment reference, the goal is to provide a supervisor or manager to who you directly reported to, as this person will have a different perspective than that of a colleague. It's also important to note that some companies have policies where they are only allowed to confirm employment and are not able to give perception-based references due to liability risks for the business. If you're a recent grad and don't have relevant employment references to share, providing an academic reference can be a great alternative. In these situations, an academic reference can provide context to things that an employer might look for, such as your work ethic, quality of work, attendance, punctuality, potential culture fit, and fit for the type of work that you've applied for. An academic reference will likely pull less weight in most cases than that of an employment reference. However, they are able to speak to your character and the behaviors that you demonstrated while you were in their program. Personal and character references are an option that you can utilize and they can be viewed more or less as impactful and it really depends on the situation and the position that you've applied for. Providing a character reference of an individual in a position of authority or a prominent position within their field, community or organization can aid in confirming the type of employee that you'll be. An example could be a business owner, potentially a lawyer, a judge, first responders, and any esteemed positions. You can also use peers from your previous organizations, but the critical piece for you to be aware of is this person can likely only speak to your character and can't speak to your ability to perform in your role the same way that a manager or direct supervisor would. Now, if you've applied directly to the company, you'll likely be asked for references towards the end of the process or potentially subject to an offer. If you apply through an agency, you might be asked for references at the initial stage and this is because our role is to conduct the entire process for a client before submitting your info. You can and should be protective of your references and ensure that they aren't contacted just for a compliance perspective, which can occasionally happen in certain agencies. Now, in my opinion as an agency owner, which is biased, is there shouldn't be a concern on your part when sharing your references with an agency, but you should only need to do so if the agency is going to directly represent you on an opportunity, and as such, they should be able to share enough details about the position to ensure you're interested in the role. To circle back and reiterate a few points, at this stage, it's critical for you to understand the different types of references that are available to you and how they'll be perceived, when it does or doesn't make sense for you to share them, and understanding that it's extremely important for you to make sure you understand the types of reference that you're able to provide and how they relate to the positions you're applying for. The first critical step in the process once you're at this point is preparing your references and letting them know to expect a call. Most importantly is understanding if they're willing to provide a reference and if they're willing to help you, making sure they know about the types of positions that you're targeting and if you can, the specific position and the specific company that they should be expecting a call from if you get to that stage. Setting this call up for success is equally as important as the other prep that you need to go through throughout the entire process. Another situation you may face is if you're applying for a position while you're currently employed. If you're currently employed and you have been for a significant amount of time, you may not be able to provide a current reference and you do need to be prepared to address this question when it likely comes up. This is a common situation and it should be understood by the company asking for the reference, but at this stage you need to be prepared and have a solid word track practiced for you to deliver to share that you have an inability to provide this reference to your current employer. 
As mentioned above, you need to know your situation. If you don't have references you can currently provide, are there references from a previous employer that maybe you're still connected with or a previous manager? Now, what if you don't have a work reference or an academic reference? Again, if you're put on the hot seat and demonstrate an inability to look this far in the future, it may be the demonstration of the lack of foresight and not your inability to provide the reference that holds you back. Have you proactively prepared an alternative solution? Do you have a list ready or some character references that you can provide? These are things you need to be thinking about before you get to the stage. When it comes to references, the most important thing to remember is that if you have great references, do everything you can to set them up for success, be prepared, and be ready to share them whenever it makes sense to do so. If you don't have amazing references, or you just haven't had an opportunity to build that reference roster, be aware of your situation. Be prepared to handle that question and address it with an employer if they ask you for that information. Not having references shouldn't hold your job search back. Not being prepared for that question, not being able to address it, can absolutely hurt your chances as it's a demonstration, as I mentioned, of your inability to look in the future and be prepared to address this question when it comes up. Again, understanding the types of positions that you're applying for and how critical the reference may be should be an indicator for you of how you need to prepare for this part of the process. Every minute that you spend in your search, specifically on the areas that you can control, will always be time well spent. Thanks again for tuning in. If you'd like more info on Express, please visit our website, our Facebook, or our LinkedIn pages, which are all linked below. And feel free to reach out with a call, text, or email, and ask us any questions that you have about your job search or your interviews or your references.